<laughs> so it's after ten. It's after nine, huh? Hmm. It's not after nine thirty, huh? It's after nine thirty, and we are parked up here already with the babies to sleep. You know, we're stones on the floor here, and um, I just wanted I wanted to get this out of my system because otherwise I I feel like. I'm gonna I don't know what I'm gonna do um so um well first of all I, I got really frustrated that today my baby girl came home with um I guess they kept her for a long time with her poop in her uh, with her with her in her diaper so they didn't change it for a long time so it got infected her skin so no matter how much they um cleaned or we used wet wipes or whatever it, it's still infected you can see around the butt the butt cheeks like this red kind of like spot on her bum and i you know applied the uh, powder and everything but i just it takes time and has to keep have to make sure i keep her skin dry but um that wouldn't happen um on my watch and she doesn't say to people when she has her diaper loaded. So it, that's that. And it made me feel like horrible because I know how to take care of my babies well. But um, since I don't because I go teach English in different elementary schools, somebody else has to take care of my babies and um in my opinion they're doing a really poor job with her because her skin is really sensitive to very thin skin so yeah um her brother in that way is better with his skin's thicker but so that got me frustrated a little but it just doesn't give me so much encouragement to um stay here for another day or be in this freaking place where i don't want to be another minute but um also i was thinking um so so let me get this straight you uh, uh, so if you're a lady if you're a woman you you get to nowadays you know have the rights to work and nowadays you know people fight for they just to have the same pay like men and you know th those are good improvements in the world but so so in japan you um you go to work you work every day um and i have to say the amount of work i do now is much much more than what it was before um before i had my twins and was working i don't know lots of things changed and the uh, work hours are longer now but the pay is less even than for what i was be fighting i had to fight to get more um because i'm like an oldie you know been in with a company for a while but anyways uh in that way they're a bit stingy and try to protect their own definitely not not their own employees i don't know but um yeah i i I'm not in a good place about that job right now either. Um, I do enjoy teaching English, but um, I also wish I could um, take better... Somebody could take better care of my babies while I'm doing that. Um, but So let me get that straight. You go to work... Yes, baby. You go to work. You come back home you come back home and you continue to um do things it's like oh, when when a guy goes to his house i mean at least that's how it was in the 50s and the 60s and when 70s i don't know 60s and 70s whatever they come home they put their legs on on the couch and read the newspaper right or watch tv and then everything has to be served to them but but that's for ladies who don't they're housewives right so so you go to work you do what you have to do you come back home um there i come back home with my babies i take them back from the nursery school and then we come back home together so i so i have to start the rice 
in the rice cooker or whatever you didn't have to cook have to defreeze it and start cooking it in the same time but before that i have to take care of their stuff like load their little cute backpacks with um two towels and diapers for the day and extra clothes if they change clothes there and then you always have to have three pairs of clothes in their school they're available and so i do that and then wash the bottles and the, their thermoses that we bring to school to work and the kids bring to school with a uh, wheat tea that we that we have and um so have to wash those bottles and the chopsticks that we use at work and at school i go i go to school so i just say school and then um have to get the laundry from outside put the new laundry in out that i just washed from like all the clothes from school and from all the kids and i just put everything in the washer because i don't know just talk and corona and whatever and i just wanted to put everything in the washer and so that has to go outside to be dried and during the night because it's really nice weather so everything dries by the morning and which reminds me after this video i have to go start on the new laundry anyways um so you you do all that even though you are on your feet all day long like i don't really get to sit down much because i have lots of classes um and then and then and then the the, the person you're married to comes and tells you that he's gonna go ahead and chase butterf no butterflies fireflies with um his friend who is still single they're the same age they grew up together were in the same elementary school neighbors same last name too so distant cousins i guess and um the guy is loaded he he does he he's a, he, he has a good job and he's enjoying his job and he's by himself you know he he has the means and the time to do whatever he wants and so he wants to try to um photograph somehow the firefly so this guy wants to go with him which is fine you know i mean when you think about it it's totally fine um he wants to be with his buddy hanging out with you know he wants to um spend time with his friend that's fine after his last class at 10 o'clock in p.m um with high schoolers he, he he can do that he he has the time he has the means he has the um, the desire to do it so he he can go ahead and do it um the the rest of us we we just go to bed like at 10 o'clock we go to bed and we sleep because the next morning we have to wake up early again and start the day and go to schools the kids go to school i go to school the little ones go to their nursery school so we all go to schools so our day starts early and finishes early um and um, I just cannot really see exactly what is the difference for me as a person um, to be a single mom or married to a guy like that who just comes and goes whatever he wishes, um, doesn't do anything with his family. Um, Saturdays and Sundays, I don't, don't even get me started even there. I just... I just can't I can't um weekdays I don't even know what he's doing during I don't really care even I'm to the point where um I think what I'm gonna do next is I I have to um talk to people um church leaders probably um and I have to pray and I have to decide if I want to continue um, to live this misery here where um, the, the feeling of being a prisoner is overwhelming to a point where I just don't see any um, meaning in, of life besides, you know, taking care of my kids. So... I, I just don't understand why why in the world um, some people can do whatever they want even if they're married and, and, and it's totally fine and acceptable and, and great and awesome while others have to bend 
over and just keep doing 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 everything on their own until they collapse and so i i really really hope sometime soon i just collapse because even if i ask people to help me around the house um they go and hide upstairs with their computers and games and quite honestly it's just me it's just me and i can do only so much and when i can't do it i just don't care anymore i, I can't do the dishes I, I don't care i can't do the i can't help myself with laundry i i don't care if they need laundry they're gonna dig in the baskets above for it i don't care anymore um dust bunnies all over the house i don't care i don't care anymore um babies have a hard time waking up in the morning because they stay till late why they stay till late because i have to stay till late why do i stay till late because i have to finish all the chores before i go to bed and you know how moms are always like oh i'll do this and then i'll do that real quick and then oh before i go to bed i'll do this and this and this and this and that and then literally literally at 10 o'clock i'm like oh i should probably stop and go to bed and those babies they need sleep instead of being in bed sleeping an hour before 10 they're still around murmuring and yawning and you know yeah so in the morning it's really hard to wake them up but i still have to get them up they have to eat something get dressed and my baby girl has to do the hair and then have to send them to school before 7 40 because at 7 40 i have to be up on my way to my school whatever whichever school i go to three different schools during the week so so tell me tell me where and when and how long and what to do i just i just can't i can't i i feel recent i feel like really tired i feel super tired Oh, I need to today it was really hard for me to keep my eyes open after lunch in the staff room. I had one class in the sixth period, which is and you know way after lunch, so the fifth period while I was in the staff room preparing for there was a special lesson coming up with sixth graders i I just have hard really hard time to keep my eyes open. It was horrible. I don't want people to see me doozing and snoozing on my desk i don't that would be super embarrassing although they all know that i have five kids at home and they know that you know i go to work and i take care of my kids but so when people tell me taihen which means hard it's hard they they know and they know what it, it means because it's pretty much you're on your own kind of thing in Japan, when you're a mom, you're on your own kind of thing. Um, I'm kind of convinced of that. It's it's a very lonely experience. So I understand why ladies don't want to get married here. I understand why they want to live there, be a little bit selfish and do whatever they want to do in their, with their life. And then after 38, they start thinking about, you know, I understand that. I understand why they're doing that now. Because... But then at the same time, if I want to have kids and I want my kids to be well taken care of, I need to be young to take care of them, right? So, it's, yeah, I don't know what else to say. It, 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 it's just, it, it seems like, you know, why, why one of the parents can um, go jogging whenever he wants drive to a park somewhere to jog and come back home take a shower snooze a little bit after uh, during the day and meet up with people do whatever he wants buy himself whatever lunch he, he wants and and we we have to leave the house before 7 30 and in the morning the kids and i and we have to eat that they're stupid full of onions disgusting school lunch i'm glad at least my kids like it i really don't it it looks super healthy calculated the calories to the last number and 
the only healthy meat some kids eat get to eat during the day because you know sometimes parents just give them ramen and whatever unhealthy stuff and snacks but um yeah um why why some people can do that why some people can go get the babies to their community center and and go gossiping or you know socializing with other moms that as the father in this house is doing that he is going out with the baby so they can play in the community center with other kids and um social and while he's like exchanging gossips around the neighborhood or whatever is going on it's like this is what usually moms do it but i can't do it in here i can't do anything in here um on saturdays usually i go shopping if not with any of my kids at least by myself but i have to because saturday is the only time i can go today i had to go after dinner thank goodness the shop that i buy diapers from closes at 10 so i went there it was at seven i got out of the house and i asked one of the boys to come with me to keep the babies in the car so they don't have to come out so i just go quickly but the babies are still with me but then in their car with their brother who was playing his game in the car and so i needed diapers and got some groceries to, to finish the week with but it was it was just like so hectic and there is no time to stop and to just relax or i wish i could you know when i come home i wish i could put my legs up just for 15 minutes because they're pounding pounding all day on your feet all day on your feet and um i wish i could um um read a book or something i i can't this is luxury to me so if i if i ever read that would be probably at school between classes but the more if i start reading i start getting really really sleepy so i cannot do that either oh it's just really um i guess really challenging and just um living living in in this kind of situation is really wearing me out it, it's like i i want the end of this i want to see the end of this uh, this to me is torture i cannot do it anymore and the only reason i'm doing it is just sting is because of the kids for their sake and oh it's just such a torture but then i think about those people those great people in the old testament how long how many years it took them to you know like moses's people his the the, the children of israel 40 years in the wilderness um then what was his name waited for seven years for rachel and they gave him his sister and then another seven years he had to work for rachel again so it's just like the time the, the length of when you get what you want to get at the end is promised from god that those people are just oh they're great oh the old testament if it didn't teach me anything else this year so far it, it has taught me that it takes sometimes it takes a long 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 time of suffering and enduring and biting your tongue until you finally can feel free and alive again and find yourself really um my baby fell asleep next to me it's so cute but anyways, yeah, I'm going to sleep now. I'm going to go to sleep and start the laundry and I'm going to go to sleep. While other people, parts of this household, are going to chase fireflies at, in, at night, at the night, in the night. Because that's what single people do. Night.